Meantime, first responders are often in life-threatening situations, so how do they protect themselves while trying to protect others? Well, in Hampton, firefighters and paramedics now have bulletproof vests. Ten on your side's Mighty Elena Ballora spoke with them today, and Mighty Elena, did they get the vest already? Yeah, they've had them for about three weeks, and they say in their job they got them because they never know what the day will bring. So adding that vest is another tool that they can use if the situation warrants it. The department has nearly 300 full-time firefighters and paramedics. We spoke with one who says in some situations he would rather be safe than sorry. It weighs less than 10 pounds, but in some situations it can be the difference between life and death. Who knows what could happen, so this is an added layer of protection that we need. Zach Walden has been with Hampton Fire and Rescue for about five years. He says the vests add another layer that they have to wear. It doesn't make them invincible, but it does make a difference. Whenever there's a heightened level of awareness just on your instinct from your training, it's nice to have something else, something physical. Firefighters and paramedics have had the vest for about three weeks, but the process to get them started about a year ago. Officials say they took their time finding the right vests and determining when crews will wear them. We have enough to protect um, all of our personnel on any incident. So we're able to provide them, no matter if it's two engines, three engines, the protection that they need in the case of an incident that would require ballistic protection. Examples of those incidents include active shooters and domestic violence calls. For that extra layer of protection, the department shelled out $650 per vest. The cost associated with it to protect and possibly save one of our medic firefighters' lives um, is well worth it. They're the same ones Hampton police wear, except for some changes like different colors and different letters. If we're easily identifiable as fire and rescue, they know not to come to us if they have a suspect or said they have information or something. They would come to us if they need medical attention. But they have the same goal to protect first responders. Hampton Fire and Rescue is the first department on the peninsula to have the vests. Chief Chittam says Norfolk and Chesapeake Fire Departments have them as well. I'm Maria Elena Ballores, 10 on your side.